Okay, it's uh, great to be here at the Future Music Camp with uh, Peter Bergner, uh, Product Manager at the Entertainment and Music Apps Division at uh, BMW. So hi Peter, how's it going today? Hi, it's going great, although it's raining again, but it's, it's been a great day. And yeah. so t tell me all about sort of uh, what we're seeing here, w what's, what's the latest uh, BMW in terms of music and audio in the car? Yeah, so we are demoing here um, BMW apps. Um, which is um, which allows applications that you have on your phone uh, to to, con uh, to connect to your car, yeah. and we've recently announced uh, announced four four new apps. Um, so I'm currently running Opio, which we launched last year, yeah. but we've just announced um, TuneIn, uh, Rhapsody, Audible, and and Klimps. Um So I could go in uh, into TuneIn. Um, I click on TuneIn. The application will be launched. Again, this 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 isn't yet out, so it will be available very soon. Um, so we are seeing here a prototype right now. Yeah. So you can see on the phone that the application is connected to the car. Yeah. Um, it resumes in the car's um, display. Um, so the playback resumes where you last le left off um, your phone. Um, I'm listening to my favorite Spanish radio station here. Um, I can control, that, uh, control it uh, fully with the iDrive controller here. Yeah. Uh, I can also use the steering wheel buttons and it's even being projected into the windscreen uh, with a head-up display. Yeah. So I can even see um, the radio station there and I can even uh, skip to the next radio station um, with the information there in the in the windscreen. Yeah, that's right. And so the, 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 and the app that you're showing me here is connected to the uh, car by Bluetooth, right? Uh, no, it's connected over, over um, that wide Apple cable right now. Okay, cool. um, we also have special adapters, um, step-in adapters, where you can safely put your phone away. And then it also has access to the exterior antenna. Um, but like this is, uh, that's the typical way that you could just connect it over the wide oh, Apple awesome. iPhone cable. Yeah, I didn't know that you could ha have added functionality by doing that. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. And so in terms of connectivity, um, how are you finding the experience uh, of streaming? Because of course, you know, one of the big worries that people have when you talk about streaming music in the car is the fact that you're not going to have connection all the time. So yeah. uh, how, is, how, how is that side of it? How, how are you working on that? Yeah. So we try to optimize it as best as we can. So obviously, if you have no internet connection at all, um, then you just can yeah. listen what you've downloaded before. Um, right now this is TuneIn, um, so in TuneIn we have a functionality called Time Shift. So we could uh, simply skip back a title and listen to that title again. So if we have no reception, for example. Um, if we use other applications like Pandora in the US or Opio, um, in those radio-ish applications, um, we try to cache uh, songs ahead. So even when you are in a bad, uh, in an area with poor reception, you still have access to your great music. That's awesome, and, and so there's a, there's a little, little bit of caching as well involved, I guess, whilst your yeah. whilst the music is playing. So if you go through a tunnel, you still have those 10 seconds ahead that you can keep listening, and then it will catch up when when it reconnects. Uh, yes, exactly. Even though tunnels are interesting because tunnels are typically where you have the best reception, because people <laughs> want to want to be able to make phone calls there so yeah. in tunnels you'll always have great receptions while reception while FM typically doesn't work yeah that's right that's right and so uh, you know looking at how the, this field is evolving uh, of course the biggest challenge that I, I hear from people that, that work in the car space is that uh, cars are designed a long time ahead and so uh, you know that the biggest problem that manufacturers have is that technology moves so quickly that the worry is that if you design a system, then it's going to be four years old by the time you take it to market. So how do you how do you manage to avoid that? Yep. So what we did is we created that generic interface called BMW Apps, yeah. uh, which you find in the Connected Drive menu, um, and you can uh, enable any any application on the phone to connect to that interface. Um, so like this, we can retrofit new functionality even to old cars. So, for example, we, we launched this interface in Mini already in 2010 and the new applications which we just announced, like TuneIn Rhapsody, they work seamlessly also in those models. Yeah, sure. And uh, looking at how you uh, navigate from, because of course one of the biggest uh, concerns of people that use the systems is uh, uh, to make sure that they can operate them safely while they're driving. And so, how do you sort of shift from one thing to the other while you're, for example, you know, navigating through a destination with a sat-nav? and I want to switch to the music, is that a, a, quite an easy process to do? 
Uh, yes, um, so you'll find all applications in that section. The interface is currently in German, but it reads yeah. um, further apps or more apps uh, in English. So if you click on that, you find all the compatible apps that I currently have on my phone. Okay. And I can just switch uh, to Rhapsody with one click or to uh, Facebook or Calendar or whatever functionality I currently might want to use. Awesome. So, so sorry, I, 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 think, I think I got this... Uh, uh, I, I've been confused about it. So basically, the system can see what apps you have installed on your phone, and then interfaces with them, and so essentially takes the information from from your the app on your phone into the into the system, right? Well, you need to have one application connected to the car, yeah. and that one application identifies all other applications awesome. and That's loads great. them into the car's head unit. That's really cool because basically future proofs the interface as well to be able to add yeah. more stuff into it because that, that's the main concern of people that are like you know if i have this system what, what's going to happen how, how is it going to how is it going to work and and the other thing i want to ask you about um, is how do you because of course this system is going to be updated re relatively regularly mm -hmm. and so how does bmw go about making sure that the drivers have the most up-to-date version of the firmware on the car without you know too much hassle isn't it? Well, the cool thing is you actually don't need to change anything in the car. So even the old uh, cars from 2010 would work with new applications. So the only thing you really, as a client, need to worry about is to get the application that are compatible um, with your car. Okay. So I can, can just, in the future, when Rhapsody is, is launched, I can just download my, rec my, my regular um, Rhapsody application in the iTunes store, and that application will work with any Mini and BMW with that option. Right, so you don't have to like take the car to a dealer and get the upgrade done on the car. Yeah, exactly. No, no need to go to the dealer, just download your new application on the phone and you're all set. That's awesome. Well, that's great. And uh, so how, how do you feel like the, this field is going to progress? Because of course, uh, a lot of people are putting their chips in the, in the car market because it's, uh, it's going to be a huge part of how streaming evolves. Uh, we've seen Pandora expand a lot in the US in, in, the, in, that, in that field. Uh, so how, how do you see the, like, the next sort of a couple of years uh, fleshing out on that? Do you, do you see a lot more apps coming in and, and a lot more services uh, getting into the space? Uh, yes, definitely. So we see great interest from, from all partners uh, to be uh, available in the car. So we expect many more applications uh, available in, in the car in the future. That's awesome. Well, that's great. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you.